A key witness who had to be arrested to testify in the Devon Lyman murder trial took the stand today. He told jurors he watched Officer Daniel Webster stop a motorcycle because he wanted to see how the officer treated the rider. News 13's Chris McKee is covering the trial and is live at District Court. Yeah, Kim, this witness, Pedro Silva, brought up APD's history of controversial shootings as the reason as to why he was watching this traffic stop so closely, seeing Officer Webster trying to cuff Devon Lyman in a Walgreens parking lot. Was he able to be cuffed? Did you notice that? No, not at the time because the officer probably tried to use a little bit of force on him at the time to put the cuff on him. Okay. You know? But that amount of force you saw, did you think that was unreasonable? No. Silva's testimony may be key for the prosecution as Devon Lyman argues that he shot Officer Webster in self-defense, claiming Webster was overly aggressive and he feared for his life. Now, Silva was on the stand for about 30 minutes today and made it very clear that he did not want to be there, saying he knows what it is like to be testified against and has wanted to forget what he saw that night. Lyman's defense latched onto that, pointing out what Silva says he didn't see. With your idea that you should watch closely, uh, do you think uh, it would have been important if you had seen a firearm out? Yeah, it would have been I'm important. Not in speculation. I'll allow the question overruled. And you did not see a firearm out? No. Nope. Of course, Webster's lapel video shows the officer drawing his gun right after he stopped the stolen motorcycle. He holstered it when he went to cuff Lyman, and then Lyman drew his gun and shot him. Now, the prosecution only has a few other witnesses left to present before the, pres before the defense rather gets to present its case to the jury. That's expected to happen tomorrow morning. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Chris. Now, Lyman is expected to take the stand this week in his own defense. We'll continue to bring you live updates on the testimony, and we will continue live streaming at krqe.com.